Hello and welcome back to the MCAT grind. We have the last two chapters of general chemistry and with one of my least familiar ones, the redox reactions. The redox reaction, breaking it down, is oxidizing and reduction oxidation and reduction. That's hence the redox. Oxidation means lose of electrons where a particular atom or a set of compound want to uh, get rid of electrons in favor of a binding. However, the opposite of that reduction means gaining electrons. So you can see those in action in certain reactions such as the, the mitochondria where there's the electromolar force being driven and NADH, all those things all involve redox. So oxidizing, oxidizing agent is one that undergoes reduction and gaining electrons. They can be seen such as NAD plus FADH, uh, KMnO4, all these oxidizing agents, which cause another electron to gain more bonds to uh, oxidize. So it may cause some other compound to oxidize, while they themselves reduce. So they gain electrons, right? NADH plus, if they gain an electron, they turn into NADH and gain that potential to go ahead and later go on to uh, oxidize themselves in another reaction. Reducing agent, uh, on the other hand, they undergo oxidation. They cause another compound to reduce. So what do we have? Well, the reducing agents, NABH4, LiAlH4, as well as NADH, FADH2, they go on to have uh, oxidation potential and they lose electrons to drive a certain reaction to occur. Think about oxidations where the driving force happens. Like the oxidation is like the bat hitters, they hit the ball hard and they lose the electrons to drive another thing happening. And the ball hits the reduction uh, compound and makes something happen. Oxidation number is basically the unequal division of electrons in bonds. This is opposite or is different from formal charges, which assumes equal division of electrons in bonds. Oxidation number usually is negative two in oxygen and everything else surrounds that. So for example, H2O, oxygen is designated as two minus, so each of the H is, is said plus one because the entire compound, if it's neutral, it's said to be zero. CH4, so instance, H, hydrogen, is always said to be plus one unless there's a more elect uh, electropositive one uh, with it. So in CH4, all the H's are uh, positive and C is designated as uh, four, neg uh, negative four. To balance the redox reaction, we have the entire reaction, right? And you can split it up into two parts. First you split into the half reactions and you balance the atoms that are not oxygen or uh, hydrogen and then you can add H2O to the side that needs to balance it and then the protons H to uh, counteract the H then you can finally balance both sides with the uh, electrons to match them and then you add the reactions together two half reactions so that the negatives cancel out for instance in this reaction we have H2 and when we want to split into half reaction, we get rid of F, get rid of F on this side, from H2 to make two of these H, I, there's no electrons I need to add, right? Because they simply turn from H2 into 2H state. But I need to add two electrons to this side because there's two of these plus ones. H change oxidation state into plus one. So two electrons here. For fluorine, uh, fluoride, I need to uh, add two minus to this side to balance the two minus on this side. So by adding them together, the two electrons cancel out, and we see that hydrogen has undergone oxidation by losing the electron, changing oxygen state from zero to plus one, Remember, losing negative turns positive, and fluoride accepted that electron and, redu and reduced. Double replacement is not a redox reaction because they simply just switch spots and there's no net uh, reaction or an electron gain or loss. 
redox uh, titration is uh, similar to pH titration, but you're just using potential metric and using voltmeter to measure instead of using pH or uh, the color changes. That's it.